Hi, my name is Chad Nelson, and I'm a Dynamics 365 Customer Engagement Solution Specialist with Western Computer. In this video, we're going to review SLAs and adding an SLA to a lead record to make sure the lead is contacted within four hours of being created. If not, then we'll have the lead be reassigned to another resource. Part of the update to CRM 2016 version 8.1 is the ability to add SLAs to any entity except recurring appointments. However, when adding SLAs to other entities, aside from the case or the lead, you will not get the out-of-the-box SLA KPIs. So you will have to create the SLA KPIs, timers, and quick view forms first. So let's begin by doing that configuration work. We'll begin by going to Settings, Customizations. We'll go to Customize the System. That'll open up the Power Apps Editor. And one of the other things you want to make sure is that you have the SLA enabled on the entity that you will be working with. So for example, with the lead, it's already enabled, but I'll show you where that would reside. So scroll down underneath Communications and Collaboration. You'll see enabled for SLA. We want to make sure that we have that checked. Once we have that checked, we'll scroll down to SLA KPI instances right here. And we'll create that one to many relationship. The related entity will be lead. Display name will say contact within four hours. Hit save and close. And now we'll create that timer. So we'll come here to forms. Do a quick view form here. Name this contact within four hours, contact within four hours. The failure time will be failure time. Status for this will be succeeded. You can see they all match up, so status. Here will be non-compliant, nearing non-compliant, status for cancel will be canceled, and then status for pause will be paused. We'll hit OK. Come back here, we'll save this as contact within four hours. Hit OK. Mark this as save and close. And now we'll add those to the form. So we'll scroll up here to the lead form. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a little column specifically for the SLAs. Let's name this an SLA. I'll come down here and I will add the SLA lookup. So we'll go SLA lookup right here. Then we'll come and add another quick view form. So you can see that it, the lookup field is going to be that contact within four hours that we created with the relationship. The related entity will be the SLA KPI instance, and the quick view form is going to be contact within four hours. So we'll hit OK here. And then another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a subgrid that shows all the related 
SLA KPI instances. That's helpful when doing multiple KPI instances to keep track of what's due and what's coming. Let's name this SLAs. We'll hit OK. I'll create that there. Come here, we'll hit save, publish. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay alert of all the latest video releases surrounding Microsoft Dynamics 365 for sales.